नमस्ते दिस इज प्रज्ञा एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल अवेकन विद प्रज्ञा टूडे फॉर अ चेंज आई हैव जस्ट चेंज माई प्लेस टू द आउटडोर बिकॉज यू ऑल ऑल्सो मस्ट हैव गॉट अ लिटल बिट बोर्ड विथ माई इंडोर सेटिंग्स सो आई थॉट माइट एज वेल आई कम टू सम इंटरेस्टिंग प्लेस इन दुबई एंड शूट दिस वीडियो सो द बिल्डिंग विच यू आर सींग बिहाइंड मी इज दुबई फ्रेम it's a very interesting place there is a lot we can talk about when it comes to the surrender stage but in this video i am going to give you small small pointers which can make it easier for you to understand and apply if at all you are on the verge of uh, getting into a surrender stage so hope that these pointers would help you so the first point what is surrender exactly what what does it mean when we say that i have surrendered in twin flame journey surrender simply means that you have put all your worries your doubts your logic your reasonings your ifs your buts to the divine so that you trust the divine and you have put all those worries to the divine believing that you will be in union or the divine will carry the things whatever is happening in your life for your highest good so surrender is very close to believing in the divine or trusting the divine and most of us are so entangled in the fear of losing our twin flame or we are having a doubt whether they will come back to us or not or we are thinking so logically uh, and our current circumstances are completely opposite than what we really want and because of that we start worrying about what will happen what will not happen we get into sadness we get into disappointment we are expecting many things and those things are not happening so all this drama whatever is happening if you are only able to do one thing that trusting in the divine you just put all that baggage on to the divine and tell the divine that okay this is this whole baggage is yours i am emptying my mind and heart and everything and it's up to you how you make me reach union with my twin flame if you are 100% able to reach to this state you can say that you have surrendered i see a lot of ambiguity when it comes to understanding whom you are surrendering to and what you are surrendering so these are the two main things which you really need to understand in this surrender process that whom you are surrendering to there are a lot of people who have asked me questions like they feel that they are surrendering to their twin flame or they are surrendering to twin flame lessons there have been people who were feeling that they are surrendering to their twin flame journey they are very very confused about whom they are actually surrendering to and the true answer to that is that you are surrendering to the divine there was one person who said that i have surrendered my twin flame to the divine so you are not surrendering your twin flame to the divine you are surrendering your fear your logic your worries your doubts your ifs and buts to the divine anything which is negative there in your mind you are surrendering that to the divine your surrender is your relationship between you and your divine god and you that's it there is nobody else there in that process and i think understanding what you are surrendering and to whom you are surrendering can bring a great change in your understanding because if you are confused about what you are supposed to surrender and to whom you are supposed to surrender you are completely lost you don't know what to do next so that is why i want to make it a point that you know that you are surrendering to the divine and you are surrendering your doubts worries ifs and buts to the divine i have seen a lot of people struggling in this journey and then they say that i can't carry this any more and i want to surrender so the first and foremost factor what you need to remember in this journey is or in this phase of surrender is that surrender phase comes when all the efforts in your control have been done 100% and you realize that there is nothing remaining which is right now in your control that is when you actually surrender to the divine because there is this thought process that okay i don't want to do anything i just want to trust the divine timing and everything will come to me at the right time that is not the right way of thinking because this is not something where it is eventually going to happen come what may 
and even if you are bypassing your inner work if you are bypassing your spiritual journey and saying that i am surrendering in this twin flame journey that is not a real surrender i hope you are getting my point what i am trying to say here there are people i have interacted with who say that i have been confronted my twin flame what i feel about them so they are still in that fear zone or a comfort zone they don't want to break out of their own fear uh, go ahead have some courage and tell what they are truly feeling for their twin flame to their twin flame so even without starting the first step in this journey they are thinking that they now need to surrender that is something which is completely a no no because in this journey your personal effort whatever spiritual growth uh, which is being triggered inside you there has to be a time where you are coming out of your fears you are coming out of your comfort zone and making some efforts trying to take some sort of a step towards your belief or towards uh, your love for your twin flame that is something which i feel is missing big time with lot of people and they are taking surrender in a wrong way typically i would say that if you have done everything as a chaser you contacting them telling them what you felt doing everything whatever was needed for this connection to flourish but because of whatever reasons it's not flourishing and now you are stuck at a level that you feel that okay i have done everything which i could nothing is working that is when you actually naturally get into a stage of surrender because there is no other way for you other than surrendering to the divine because you have done everything all the efforts you have done if there is anything remaining from your side even a little bit and if you are feeling that you need to now surrender that's not the right time to surrender you should ask this question to yourself that have you done all those efforts which are in your control i also want to explain what is this surrender stage exactly in little bit of different perspective so that you can understand it better so firstly uh, surrender is a state of mind why i say it is a state of mind because it's not an action surrender is not an action surrender is not an event that okay one day you just got up from your bed and you decided that today you will surrender and 5 o'clock bang you surrendered to the divine and that's it it's not going to happen that way it's a state of mind and to develop that state of mind you have to practice like you know as if it is a skill that you need to be in that mind state you need to intentionally deliberately tell yourself affirm to yourself that this is what is my mindset and affirmations daily affirmations can help you to build that mindset at the end of the video I'm going to give you a certain sort of a sample you know how you can actually build that mindset which you can repeat and practice every day so that eventually it helps you to shift to the mind state of a surrender the second factor is that surrender is a lifestyle it's not an event i mean i can also give you an example of having a bath you are having a bath every day right it's not happening that you got up today had a bath and that's it like Uh, for rest of your life you didn't have to take a bath ever no taking a bath being refreshed is your lifestyle it's part of your lifestyle and you do it every day so surrender is also something very very similar it's not an event it's not a one time action every day you have to keep practicing that mindset and eventually now you are taking a bath every day you are not even realizing it it's like in there in your um habits same way the surrender can also turned into a lifestyle that, that is where you should actually aim at so let's say that you have now arrived at a stage where you say that okay i have done everything what i could do and i am now ready to surrender so what does it really mean what is it that you are going to do so there are few things i want to point out first is that you are going to let go of your control okay because many a times we are trying to control our journey or our feelings or our expectations in so many ways that it puts us into a pain or a sadness do, what do i really mean by having a control there are people who want to control the connection first is that they want to keep checking the social media 
of their twin flame so that they are on track they, they are not losing the track of what their twin flame is doing or not doing secondly they are having this timeline that Oh, you know in certain period of time their twin flame should come back because now they are 30 so by the age of 32 they want to get married so before within those 24 months that twin flame should come back you know all these expectations they are a form of control you are wanting to control things in your own way so when you are surrendering you have to let go this control Another very major, major important point in the surrender phase is that, uh, as we say that, you know, your thoughts create your reality. So the more you are creating a resistance in your mind, like there is a big difference between what you are wanting and what you are thinking. You are wanting a union with your twin flame, but what you are thinking is everything which you don't want. What if this happens and why he is not coming back or... There are so many things so if you are surrendering you have to get into a zero resistance zone your mind is not resisting any thought of yours so how do you get into a zero resistance zone is by letting go of the control by trusting the divine completely so once you're putting all these worries and doubts to, to the divine you will naturally be able to come into this zero resistance zone and what do I really mean when I say zero resistance zone? I will give you an example. The gravitational force is a universal law that any object which falls down on the planet Earth falls down. It does not go up, right? If you drop an apple from your hand, it is definitely going to go down. It's not definitely going to go up. So when it comes to the apple, are you really worrying that if I throw it, it will go up? Are you really worrying about it? No, because you know in your heart that it is going to fall down because it's a law of the universe that law of gravity that it falls down so the way you are so sure that the apple is going to go down only it's not going to go up the same way you have to trust the divine because whatever your trust is whatever your belief is you are going to attract that and it's a law of the universe it's a scientific law law of attraction that what you think what you believe becomes your reality and it can only happen if you are not having any sort of resistant energy there playing inside your mind uh, then uh, there is another misconception that you are in surrender so you are not supposed to look at their social media and you are you uh, you block them okay if it is creating a lot of pain or a disturbance in your state of being that you know it's being toxic or it is really eating up your time and you are getting into pain because you look at their social media you look at their happy life with their spouse and you are getting drained due to it i would suggest stop looking at their social media there is nothing uh, i mean there is no problem in stopping looking at their social media but if at all you are feeling that um, you have to stop looking at their social media only because you have now surrendered that's not required it's okay keep all the channels open if, if you want to uh, to your twin flame if they talk to you talk to them back it, everything else is okay as far as you are not getting into a negative thought process or a if and but process or a logical process or if you are not getting into a fear of losing them if as far as these things are not happening everything else is fine being into zero resistance is the most required thing when it comes to surrender stage so according to me there are three pillars of a surrender stage one is faith you have to have faith and trust in the divine patience because without patience you cannot surrender you have to have a patience willingness to wait when you believe that something is happening in your life for your highest good on this journey so belief is absolutely important patience is absolutely important and zero resistance that is absolutely important in the journey there are a lot of people who are fluctuating between chasing and surrender and it is completely natural it happens for some period of time where you are a chaser you are showing obsessive traits you are yearning or longing for your twin flame big time and somewhere you are realizing that you need to surrender now there is nothing actually you can 
do much in this whole scenario but you are not really able to surrender because you are having a big fear in your mind of losing your twin flame what if i uh, let go my twin flame and if they don't come back so that doubt you are not really able to overcome that whole feeling of letting them go or losing them but i think every twin flame comes in this particular phase where they are fluctuating between chasing and surrender and it's completely okay because it's a process it surrender cannot happen overnight initially it will fluctuate you will go back to chasing again you will come back to the surrender state again you will go back to chasing it will keep happening till the time you actually achieve that equilibrium and you feel that okay now i'm at a stable state i think it happens in many things in our life that you are fluctuating initially but as you are practicing you become more and more expert in that and you gain some sort of a stability in that particular activity though the same thing happens in surrender so it's completely okay if you are going to and fro between chasing and surrender eventually if you are at it you can achieve that state of mind of surrender for a longer period of time and hold it for the longer period of time uh, there is also this thing that what is the difference between giving up and surrendering so there is a huge difference between giving up and surrender when somebody gives up okay gives up on the twin flame journey or their twin flame they are terminating all the possibilities which they would otherwise feel should work out so you are giving up on something that means you don't have any hopes for it for the future you are not looking forward to anything and you just accept that okay this is this was not for me and i just shut it off from my life and i go somewhere else that is giving up but when it comes to surrender surrender is that you believe that you are on this journey you are on in a separation with your twin flame that does not mean that you are not so the person who is surrendering does believe in this journey they believe in this spiritual experience they believe that they are a twin flame they believe that they are in separation right now but they would eventually find their way with the help of the divine and they surrender everything to the divine that is what is surrendering it's not giving up so i hope you get the difference between giving up and surrendering my dear twin flame i love you from the deepest part of my soul i have 100% faith in my love for you and my inner knowing I trust the divine and I let go all that which does not serve me anymore. They are with me on this journey and they are guiding me all the time. I am sending you love, peace and happiness and I know that the divine will bring us together at the right time. Mm-hmm.